age of four, I announced to my parents I wanted to be a violinist. You know, having been surrounded by violins and violinists all the time, that that was, you know, natural. And then I started nagging my parents and saying, I want to play the violin, I want to play the violin. So they made some inquiries and the next stroke of luck was that uh, Sheila Nelson, one of the great teachers of, of kids ever, lived around the corner in Highgate. For the first few years I was just having fun and that was what Sheila Nelson was so wonderful at. She would, would teach you but you would never realize that it was a lesson because you were just enjoying it. For a child of, of any age, the chance just to touch an instrument, to play some music, it's a win-win situation because you gain so much. You gain the way of expression, you gain the, the feeling of music, knowing what it's like to get a sound out of an instrument. I was directed towards the Russian school of, of violin playing and a meeting with Felix Andreevsky in London, which really changed my life. And after that, Zaha Bron, the teacher with whom I, I studied the most. And Menuhin had heard about Bron, and Menuhin was curious, so he asked to hear me play. He was very surprised, I think, that I had taken it so seriously, that I had worked as hard as I possibly could. And he offered from that moment on that we start performing together. And those years, those 10 years on tour with him, were for me the greatest lessons anybody could have ever had. I love to think up projects that tell the story. And for me, Josef Joachim was an amazing storyteller himself, somebody that defined the role of the virtuoso, the role of the musician in the 19th century. And with this CD, I wanted to try and show the various connections within his personality, his love of vocal music, his love of chamber music. He was the most unusual figure of his time who come from this very a poor background in, in Hungary and risen to be one of the most famous virtuosos and yet was never somebody that believed in just showmanship. He believed in music, in, in deep felt music. I do get asked quite a bit from young musicians who say, how can I get an agent? How can I make a career? To most of them I say that the internet is the most important tool in terms of getting your message out there and also knowing your niche, knowing how you want to be perceived as a musician. You have to be completely and utterly dedicated and it's all very well to get a concert, but you need to be invited back to that concert because that's how a career is made. I think what C-Music TV is doing is fundamentally important because it's bringing different genres of high quality music together, it's making it accessible and it's also speaking the language that young people can respond to. It's giving them access to a whole variety of talents, people that they may know or may not know and from there hopefully sparking the interest that has brought them there to the website or to the channel itself. So I think that these kind of structures are really what will define classical music in any case in the next 20 years. Mm -hmm.